This is a special Git Minutes screencast created for the for episode 29 where we talked to James Mulder from Gitlit. And in this screencast we're going to uh, see how we can set up Gitlit uh, to run on a digital ocean server. Now you can sign up for uh, DigitalOcean using the uh, uh, promo code gitminutes01. No, Git minutes one zero, and you will get a ten dollar credit if uh, if you're signing up for the first time. So now we're just gonna quickly jump in here and create a, a droplet, as they're called. Gonna choose a low tier server, and we'll put the server in Amsterdam. Here we can select between a few Linux distributions. I'm just gonna go with the latest Ubuntu, and uh, I also got my uh, SSH key pair configured in, in DigitalOcean, so uh, I can have the new server set up with uh, the root user already with my uh, public key uh, authorized. So I'm going to hit uh, create, uh, create droplet there to initiate the server. It'll take about a minute. So while we're waiting, um, we're going to have a little look at the uh, GitBlood documentation over here. And uh, as you can see, there are a few different options on uh, on how to install GitBlood. And we're just going to go with the easy uh, Go version, the single stack solution uh, for Linux, and uh, let's just go go in there and have a look at the documentation of uh, of how we uh, set this up. We uh, will download and unzip Gitlet, and then we will edit this data slash Gitlet properties file. Where we have to set the uh, on the port in, we, in which we, Gitlet will run, and also a, a password that we uh, use to protect the. Uh, the key store, or maybe that's for the self-signed certificate, and uh, yeah, it can run or by default runs with HTTPS. But I think we can disable that. There are other couple of parameters here that you can configure depending on the nature and size of your repositories. Um, number three here, we can skip entirely. We're not going to need that. And uh, after that, we will just start the server. So there's a command for doing that. Looking over at our digital ocean droplet being created, it's uh, there's only a few seconds left. Here we go, and uh, there I can just copy out the IP address of our freshly created server and uh, open up a shell, and uh, we'll just SSH in there as as root, and uh, yeah, should use the uh, SSH key authentication to get in there, and. Now we can install first. Uh, we need a Java runtime, but that's pretty much everything we need to uh, to run Gitlet. Also, notice that it's using DigitalOcean's own um, Debian package uh, mirror to to download the uh, and package is much quicker. It's already pre-configured in the Ubuntu image. So I'm just going to copy the link to download uh, the Gitlet uh, zip file. We're just finishing up installing Java, and now I can get the Gitlet uh, zip. I'm just going to unpack it here, and there's the data there that I was talking about with the Gitlet dot properties inside. Okay, what what were the things we had to configure again? It was let's have a look inside the documentation. We need to set server. HTTP port. Let's find that in here. There it is. And uh, yeah, disable by default. And uh, yeah, we'll just go with HTTP without HTTPS. So we'll just leave that there. We have to set a new password like this. Yeah, these other ones, we're just going to leave them alone since we just want to do a little demo of how it is set up. So now we're ready to go. We can uh, see uh, how we start the server. Just uh, run Java with a Gitlet jar and point it at the data there. And here we go. So like I said, there's a whole Git Minutes episode, episode 29. Uh, head over to linksgitminutes.com slash 29 to uh, listen to a one and a half hour interview with the creator of Gitlet, James Moger, and uh, where we touched a lot on a lot of the features that are inside of Gitlet, but there's 
a lot of things in here to be explored. I'm already logged in as the administrator because uh, my session is somehow left over from a previous test instance I had running. But you can log in there as admin slash admin. And uh, yeah, you can start uh, creating repositories and creating users and, and start just basically playing around. And, uh, and uh, you know, since we're already running this uh, server out there on the internet, um, you may want to change the password and uh, change, uh, make it just to make it a bit more protected. But you know, sh share it with your friends and have them try out GitBlit to see what it's like and uh, do some toy project on them. And you can see what it's like. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the screencast. Make sure to uh, head over to uh, digitalocean.gitminus.com and uh, there you can sign up for an, a digital ocean account using. Uh, the promo code git minutes one zero and uh, you'll get a ten dollar uh, credit which uh, should be enough to uh, keep you going for a couple of months and, and play around with the uh, digital ocean so thank you for watching